At the Kern County Coroner's Office. I mean, there's no doubt these are hard cases. Yeah. Manager Don Ratliff says this year, a confirmed four babies have died of sudden infant death syndrome and seven more cases are pending. I think it is very important. Uh, people want to feel like they know what happened to their baby. And to, the, to our very best of our ability, we want to be able to provide an answer if there's one. County coroner investigators look into each infant death, noting where the child was found, conditions, the baby's medical history, and birth records. The pathologist takes it all and does an autopsy, sending out samples for viral, bacterial, and toxicology reports. If there is no sign of anything wrong, the death will be ruled SIDS. If there are risk factors that are certainly present, um, such as co-sleeping or unsafe sleep environment or something like that, then very often that will be put as a contributing factor. Um, it's not put as the cause of death because there's no proof to do that. Some people are going to say, oh, this is SIDS. Some people are going to say, no, these risk factors cause the death. And I think more and more um, pathologists are, are moving to saying, you know, I don't know what happened, so I'm going to call it undetermined. Dr. Thomas Keens is the chair of the state's SIDS Advisory Council. He's been studying recent research from Dr. Hannah Kinney. The Harvard neuropathologist studied the brains of infants who died of SIDS. She found the babies had a deficit of serotonin. That's the neurotransmitter in the brainstem controlling the heart rate, breathing, and body temperature. The babies who were found with no risk factors had the lowest levels of serotonin. Infants found with risk factors, such as a mother who used substances while pregnant, smoking around the baby, unsafe sleeping conditions, or were overdressed and too warm, had higher levels of serotonin in their brain stems. This could mean the risk factors push them over a deadly edge. I think there, there is a bit of a baseline here. Risk factors are not in and of themselves causes, and I think if you can imagine a baby that has a brain stem that has very little uh, serotonin or perhaps other neurotransmitters, uh, that baby may not be able to cope with any kind of environmental challenge and, and is at high risk to die just because of intrinsic vulnerabilities. Most SIDS babies are still dying in the presence of one or more of the risk factors. That is the case of one of the four babies who died of SIDS in Kern County already this year. And since there is not a non-invasive procedure to test for serotonin levels in infants, knowledge is still the best lifesaver for parents. At the moment, the best thing people can do is risk reduction, and it has worked. I mean, it does reduce the risk of SIDS, and it's important for, for parents to know that and adhere to that.